In our book, Using Diagrams in Psychotherapy, we discuss how to use a variety of diagrams to explain common clinical problems. In this example, I'm going to explain the time circles diagram. The time circles diagram can be used to explain depression, anxiety, and mindfulness. This circle will represent the present. So you and I right now are engaged in the present moment. You are watching the video and you are watching the diagram. In the present, we're engaged in the here and now. We're focused on what's happening to us and we're not thinking about our past or thinking about our future. We're engaged in the present moment. However, as human beings, we truly are unique in that we can leave the present moment at any time. For example, we can leave the present and we can focus on our past. We can think of a pleasant childhood memory. We could think of a mistake we made. We could think of an accomplishment or we could think of a particular event and maybe something that somebody did to us. We can also leave the present and we can think about our future. We can begin to make plans. We can worry about something or we can think about a task that we need to do and maybe what we will need to do to accomplish the task. So there's different things that we can experience outside of the present moment. So thinking about the past or thinking about the future isn't necessarily problematic. For example, we may think about our past and we may gain insight into something that happened and use this insight to function better in the present. So we may learn from our past, but we momentarily visit the past. We don't dwell on it. We reflect on what we need to reflect on and we bring ourselves back to the present. Similarly, we may think about our future. We may, for example, try to figure out how to accomplish a particular task and we may engage in problem solving. We may try to figure out what we need to do and how we can successfully accomplish the task. We only momentarily visit the future and then we bring ourselves back to the present. So visiting either of these circles can be helpful and allow us to function better in the present. However, there are times that thinking too much about our past or too much about our future can be problematic. For example, we may go way into our past and we may dwell on something and find ourselves preoccupied. This may take up most of our time and we can begin to experience things like regret, anger, guilt, and this may become a depression zone for us. In a similar way, we may go far out into our future. We may really begin to worry about something happening to us years from now or something, something happening to a loved one. And we may find ourselves preoccupied with this and not engaging in the present moment. So thinking about the future may become an anxiety zone. We tend to function best when we can focus on the present. In our book, we discuss a variety of strategies, which we call redirection strategies, how to get ourselves back from the future and focused on the present, or how to get ourselves back from the past and focused on the present. So we call these redirection strategies. These are very helpful strategies to learn in how to center our attention on the present moment and get ourselves back from dwelling too much on the past or thinking too much about the future. We also discuss mindfulness strategies. Mindfulness strategies are strategies that anchor us in the present. They keep us focused in the here and now and they make us less susceptible to dwelling on our past or thinking too much about our future. 
we tend to function best when we are able to keep ourselves in the present moment and not get too caught up in thinking about the past or too worried about our future. The only thing we are ever engaging in is the present moment. So our ability to keep ourselves in the present moment becomes important and makes us less emotionally vulnerable either to depression or anxiety.